place to keep everything in. There we go. Just like that. Look at that. Cool. Wow. Okay. So, and then just a ton more. A ton more discs. Like more uh, oh defender of the crown pipe dreams zybots dogs of war oh man this is great because i used to have of course i had a large uh box that i would keep all my three and a quarter inch amiga discs in and years ago when i sold my amiga hardware of course i sold the entire collection of software and everything like that now, the last Amiga-related hardware I had was the CD32, which I did sell a little while back, because it was just too many things. It didn't look like I was ever going to get a chance to expand it or anything like that. But uh, I'm definitely hoping somewhere down the line to get a hold of another Amiga. And with all these three and a quarter inch discs, oh, there we go. There's from the uh, Amiga um, so uh, software operating system. Um, with all these Amiga related three and a quarter inch floppies, now more than ever, uh, I have incentive to get a hold of some uh, Amiga hardware once again, which will be great. Um, you know, even a 500 or a 1200, maybe a 600, I don't know, one of those, but one of the ones with the floppy drive and everything included. Um, yeah, tons and tons of Amiga floppies. Double Dragon, Outrun, Flight Sim Simulator, Onslaught, Golden Axe, Viper. This is cool because a lot of these game titles I've never had even back when I had an Amiga. And I literally had hundreds of discs, as most people probably did back in the day, whether you had an Amiga or Atari computer, what have you. So tons and tons and tons of three and a quarter inch floppy discs. Ooh, look at that. Sega Genesis, I believe. Uh, yeah, Sega Genesis. Here we've got a cartridge. It's Might and Magic by, e by e EA Electronic Arts. That's cool. So that's, that's a couple Sega Genesis cartridges. And even more packages here. This might may have to be a two-parter vid. But packages within packages within the box. So cool. Wow, okay. Well, definitely a lot of discs, which is great. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to go through all of them, sort them all out, and put them in order. Paperboy, Zany Golf, one of my favorites, even back on the Amiga 500. Zany Golf, I could just play for hours and hours and hours, and, and I did. So, <laughs> Sword of Sudan, yeah, remember that one. Four discs, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Oh, man, okay, tons of cool floppies yeah just like back in the day when I had my Amiga collection okay and I still two more packages here wow okay as I said definite incentive I think uh, that'll for sure be the next uh, retro computer that I get a hold of will be another Amiga definitely here. Yeah. Marble Madness. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Pool of Radiance. Z uh, Eagle's Nest. Master Motion. Pop. What is that? Pop. Oh, Popma 4. Pop Mail 4. Something like that. Okay. Cool. Tons of discs. Future Classics. Hmm. Kind of funny, eh? A disc called Future Classics that was compiled probably back in the mid-80s. Well, I'll be the judge of that now. <laughs> Are they classics now? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it came, I'm assuming it's, it came from the desert. Uh, got three discs here. Well, it says it came one, two, and three. So I'm going to assume it's, it came from the desert. At least I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I might be in for a surprise. Uh, some kind of scary slideshow. 
Just kidding. Uh, Battleship, Akari Warriors, Amoeba um, Invaders, that's like Space Invaders, Lamatron, oh, that's a great one, Arkanoid, Zombie, Ballistics, Giganoid. Okay, so I think when it comes right down to it, what we were looking at is a crap load ton of original Amiga floppy disks, uh, a couple cartridges for Sega Genesis, a PC adventure, or it looks like a suspense mystery game for the PC, and PlayStation 2 Sega Genesis collection, as well as Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp DVD game. And uh, yeah, that, that looks like it. That's the package, that's the box. Own the Garbage Pail Kids cards. And basically, it's a, a, a big box of 80s retro goodness. So, thanks again, Gaming Night. That's awesome. Really appreciated. Um, sure to bring me back lots and lots of memories. I'm going to get out my old three and a quarter inch uh, disc storage box, which I still have. Uh, it's probably dusty. <laughs> I'm going to organize these discs, sort them figure out which are the du duplicates and uh, put them all in there and they will be awaiting uh, the next time I get hold of a Commodore Amiga computer. So thank you, thank you very, very much uh, wholeheartedly. That's great and all you guys watching, check out Gaming Night's channel, it's awesome. Video games and board games and all kinds of classic retro gaming goodness. Thank you very much. Rob out.